hi guys i look so cute today i'm so excited like i feel so so proud of myself of being able to make a crochet top combined with fabric for about two years now i've been a fan of crochet outfits combined with fabric and i've decided that this year is going to be the year where i try out much trendy designs like this as usual i went on pinterest searching out for new designs trying to find out inspiration i just saw these photographs you see on your screen like they were so cute they were so amazing and it had crochet outfits combined with fabric i've seen a, a couple of designers combining Ankara fabric as well but I fell in love with the satin and chevron pieces combined with crochet lace or lazy fabric it was so superb it added some new look to the crochet designs and I think this is worth trying this year you should spice up your wardrobe with these kind of tops I bring you the detailed exclusive tutorials as I always do I'm so excited to share with you my very first tutorial for 2021 I chose a nude color for this design but you can choose any color of your choice i know a lot of you are insecure with thin straps okay so this top gives you a detailed coverage okay because the fabric is used as a sleeves i know some people do not enjoy wearing sleeveless top and some people want to feel comfortable it's an easy top to make you just need your brains and your hands if you have these two you don't need any professionality because i know a lot of people are going to feel like i can't make this how am i going to make this when i don't know even how to sew a simple pocket please do subscribe if you have not because there are more tutorials like this coming and please give this video a big thumbs up share with others let them know that akosia doma is here for you let's begin the tutorial right away for this cute top you are going to need your first measurement which is from a little bit on top of your breast as you just saw to your under bust mine measures eight inches it depends on how you want your top whether it's cropped or less cropped second measurement is around your waist from where i'm pinpointing all around to the other side leaving a little um, bit space for that front detail so just from that side as you can see to um the other side which is approximately your nipple to your nipple okay around your waist the next measurement includes the armhole measurement which is going to um, be mainly for the sleeve portion and then the sleeve length is the next okay so these are the measurements you need so for this tutorial we are going to make the crochet portion as the very first step and i'm using life yarn um i bought this from an instagram store called therapy yarn ghana and i'll be leaving a link of their instagram store in the description hopefully and yes i love the texture of this yarn it's so superb and the color i chose is actually um one thing one new thing i'm trying out um this season and i think nude color is now trending and i love the texture as well it is 100 percent cotton and it feels super comfortable on the skin and i think you should try out this brand um yes i think you can get some from aliexpress as well okay so i'm also going to use a 2.5 um a 2.0 millimeter hook and you can use a 2.5 or lower okay because i'm doing something of the lightweight and i think using um a smaller hook for the lightweight is um a little bit cool but if you are using wasted weight you should use 4.0 and above i know some people prefer using wasted weight um yarn and it's fine for you to use it for this project okay so it's just your preference and also i'm going to use a pair of scissors and a tape measure as usual okay so we are going to start the very first main step which is taking a strand of yarn and starting up with the process okay so you can decide to take two strands at the same time that is if you are trying out with the wasted weight few but if you are going on with my light weight as i usually prefer you should just take a strand and make a slip knot as you can just see on your screen and chain a total of 55 okay so insert your hook inside the space created yarn over pull through the space yarn over pull through just like that so make sure you repeat this process which is known as the chaining and it's the very first basic step and as i said uh, my 57 chains measures accurately 
um 6.5 inch for mine okay and it depends on the coverage you want this is usually from on top of your breast to your under bust okay it's just the coverage around your back okay so you are going to make this design that is going to be worked vertically for this top and it's pretty easy okay so after chaining your total of 55 you are going to add up an additional three chains and uh, so chain up three yarn over insert your hook into the fourth piece from the hook so target your fourth piece but make sure you yarn over first okay don't make the mistake because you are going to do a double crochet so just make sure you yarn over insert into the fourth space as you can see and pull through when you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two when you have two loops yarn over pull through two that is just a double crochet okay and the skipped four chains also counts as a double crochet so in, as usual you are going to have two double crochets okay so you are going to add up extra two in the same exact space so in the same space yarn over insert with three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again in the same space yarn over insert pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so you have a total of four um double crochet so you are going to count to the third space okay so skip two spaces and single crochet into the third okay so you just insert when you have two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two very simple if you didn't get i'm going to do another demonstration okay so this is what you are going to do this is a textured detail for your top okay so what you are going to do is to chain up a total of three okay yarn over insert your hook into the same exact space when you where you single crocheted yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again let's do it again in the same exact space yarn over insert your hook into the space yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over insert yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that is just a double crochet and you are, you are doing three in the same exact space after chaining up three okay so after that you are going to skip the next two spaces and single cr crochet into the third okay and it's, it's simple as such okay just make sure that you do begin by chaining up three which also counts as a double crochet so after chaining up three in the same exact space add three Dub put a total of three double crochets in that same exact space where you single crocheted okay after chaining up a total of three after doing this you skip the next two spaces and single crochet into the third and that is how the pattern works pretty simple and pretty easy and as this is how the repetition goes to get to the end of the row we are doing this textured repeat of putting three double crochets and as i told you the chain three always counts as a double crochet so in total you are having four for each cluster of double crochet okay just like how we began and yes i'm going to meet you at the end this is how the repetition is make sure you um chain up your total of three um put a total of four double crochets into the same sorry three double crochets into the same space including the chain three way counts as a stitch as well and then skip the next two single crochet into the third so i'll meet you at the end when i'm done with this whole repetition and then we begin the next row so finally i'm done with my repetition i'm just left with a cluster which i want to demonstrate to you how i end so i've already chained my three getting ready for my last cluster okay so in that same exact space where we single crocheted we are going to add up a total of three double crochets and as i told you the chain three also counts as a stitch so indirectly we have four double crochets for a cluster okay so we are going to skip the next two and single crochet in the last and we were lucky we didn't have much we just had an accurate stitch but you can adjust on how to end and you just need to have a straight edge so for the next row i'm going to chain up a total of three turn over your work and then you are going to work your stitches again okay so this time in the same exact stitch where we ended or where we chained a total of three you're going to yarn over insert your hook into that space okay so into that space okay that space as you can see and then um make sure you insert your hook pull through 
yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two you are going to repeat a total of two again making a total of three in the space and counting the chain three as a stitch as well making a total of four okay so after that you single crochet right on top of the next cluster you realize that you get this cute space over there okay that was the chain three from all the clusters you are just going to put a single crochet over there chain a total of three and in that same exact space where you single crocheted you are going to put a total of three double crochets in the same exact space okay so that's how the pattern works okay so you realize that you are filling up for the spaces that were waved and that's how it works so after that you are going to just directly single crochet on top of the next cluster which you are going to see a cute space over there and then you are going to chain up a total of three and then you are going to put a total of three double crochets in the same exact space where you just single crochet and that's how the pattern is going to work just like this very simple super easy and you are going to repeat this pattern throughout okay this repetition is super easy super simple to work with and yes you just have to go with this pattern and you'll be cool so that's how it's going so far and make sure you chain up your three add your total of three in the same space single crochet right on top of the next cluster and continue with your pattern okay so i'm just going to do my repetition till i get to the end of the row and i'll show you what to do next for the previous for the next row sorry so we are finally at the end okay this is going to be my last single crochet after finishing my cluster okay so i end with a single crochet right on top of the next cluster and that is how i end the row okay you should keep track of the number of clusters you have for each row so that you know whether you are not making a mistake because we need a straight edge okay so i'm going to do a repetition till it covers from this portion to the other portion like how we measured from the beginning of the video so i made approximately 55 rows um to cover the portion which we just measured um, which is around your waist leaving a little bit space for the front portion which is going to be the bust portion but this is how i ended for my row i ended with a single crochet just doing the same repetition and my total number of 55 rows measures approximately 21 inch which is going to stretch because crochet stretches okay so you don't need approximately 24 inch if you measured you can subtract about three inch um to make it a little bit fitting because it stretches okay that depends on the type of yarn you are using to begin the next portion you are going to chain up a total of three um yarn over insert into the next space yarn over pull through to yarn over pull through to so that's just a double crochet and you are just going to look for each space okay that you find and you are going to place a, a double crochet in each space running through across this time you are keeping up a straight edge by leveling up with a double crochet okay so I did my double crochet and I'm now at the end of the row and I suggest that you keep the number of double crochets you made right in your head so that you don't mess up for the next portion okay so after that you are going to chain up a total of three to begin the next row and then you are going to put a double crochet in the next space and in the space after just double crochet run through with a regular row of double crochet and then repeat 10 more rows for this portion okay so i'm just going to repeat a number of rules um to extend the portion this is going to be the past portion of the top and i'm going to also attach my yarn and work the same thing at that exact side okay so i'm done with my total number of 12 rows in total okay i did a total of 12 rows of double crochet for the bust portion and it depends on the coverage you want for your bust okay if you have a smaller bust like me you don't really need enough rows to uh, provide coverage but if yours is big you need more okay so i just reattach to the other side okay chain the to total of three and i'm going to double crochet in each space and as i said keep the number of double crochets you did um for each row for the other side so it, assuming you made a total of 57 double crochets make sure you repeat the same 57 for this next portion otherwise one side will be bigger than the other 
and that is because i've had an experience where one side is bigger than the other so i suggest that you keep it in head and just make sure that you do the same exact amount so i'm just going to continue with my repetition um of um 10 more rows so in total it's going to be 12 so that we have the same symmetrical um thing and then we begin the next row okay so i'm done i repeated everything like the same thing over here and they look the same okay so now i'm going to join this portion i'm joining the bottom portion a little bit up and i must say that it depends on what you want okay you can even fix a button there if you have or you can join like how i just did okay so to join you just slip stitch okay to join the two pieces and take the back loops of each piece and single crochet so i'm jo joining with a single crochet and it depends on what you want you can also join with a darning needle or whatever you prefer so make sure you take the back loops and then single crochet till you are satisfied with the length of how you want your coverage okay i didn't really um join that much so i ended up adding a strap for the front but it depends on what you want okay so yes i joined that portion and i'm done okay i'm come to work on the straps now which is much important you are almost done with this crochet top if you start the straps because you are done with almost the full portion of the top so i attach my strap at the right side i'm going to work the right side first just simply attach by slip stitching and then insert your hook and chain up a total of three to begin in the same speed space sorry add a total of three double crochets like how we started with the design as well so you now have a total of four double crochet you are going to skip the next space and single crochet into the following okay chain up a total th of three in that same space where you single crocheted you are going to add up a total of um three double crochets skip the next space single crochet into the following chain up a total of three in the same space three double crochets skip the next space single crochet into the following and then for the last cluster chain up a total of three add a total of three double crochets in the same space and finally attach to the last corner for the straps okay and my straps is going to be made of four clusters so you have to put that in your mind so after that you chain turn over chain up a total of three and place a total of three double crochets in the same space where you chained um single crochet right on top of the next cluster from the previous row chain up a total of three in the same space where you single crocheted add a total of three um double crochet in the same space yes, that's how the pattern is going to b okay it's a simple pattern you are just going to repeat this for two more extra rows and then we decrease for the straps okay for the armhole of the strap you just decrease by one cluster okay so we are just going to repeat as i said i having four clusters throughout so i added two rows okay so after you add a total of two rows you are going to chain up three for the next row single crochet right on top of the first cluster before you are going to chain up a total of three and add a total of three double crochets in the space remember you didn't you have skipped a row okay you have skipped a stitch okay so this time you are going to have a total of three clusters instead of four okay so after that you single crochet into the on top of the next you chain up three and do your three double crochet and then um, single crochet on top of the following and do your clusters as well okay you realize that this time you are having a total of three clusters and that is because you skipped the very first one and that is the decrease you need for the armhole so you are now going to maintain these three clusters um till you get to the end of the row and you attach to the back i'm going to give you the exact information of the number of rows i did um for my straps and it depends on your armhole measurements as i told you okay when you take your armhole measurements and you do more rows it's going to be extra loose and i think you should make it a little bit tight so that you don't get to cut very um huge sleeves okay so i'm just going to do my repetition of clusters with three um clusters okay i'm having three clusters and i'm just going to do this repetition until i'm satisfied 
and i just check out with the same armhole measurements and i'll meet you and tell you the number of rows i did so i'm done with the repetition i did a total of 36 rows for my straps and i attached to the other side and did the same thing i did for the right side to the left side so i joined with a single crochet at the back okay you should turn it upside down so that the seam comes in hidden so now i'm going to measure my underarm okay my underarm is exactly six inch wide okay so six inch wide and then the straps i did all around measures 18 inches so in total we are going to have 24 so your armhole should be approximately 24 if you are going with because i measured 24 for mine okay so the next measurement i'm going to do is to measure my wrist which is going to determine the length of um, what is the name elastic band i'm going to cut for the sleeves of the top so now to the sewing aspect okay i laid down my satin fabric you can choose a chevron or an ankara fabric and i'm using this sleeve pattern i got um from i drew from youtube i'll be leaving the link but you don't really need a sleeve pattern all you have to do is to fold your fabric into two and cut like how i'm doing just take a look at this okay so just cut slanted okay make sure you cut slanted and make sure you catch this you cut the sleeves really huge for it to fit the armhole so when you measure the slanted portion and it's small that's the end of your life because i made a mistake at the first place and i had to recut the sleeves okay so make sure that you are cutting the sleeves in such a way that when you measure the slanted portion um it's the same measurement as your armhole which is a total of 24 for mine 24 inches okay so that's what i'm doing and that's how you need your sleeves to be so after that you trace out the same um sleeve freehand sleeve cuts you just made them um, to a uh, fabric so make sure you cut on fold and make sure you are cutting um at right side facing okay or else you are going to have one wrong side one right side so after that you are going to turn your fabric upside down okay and you are going to pin the edge of your fabric as you can see and make a straight stitch well i didn't do a voice over over this because i thought you guys might like the sound this is crazy i'm rolling the bobbin of my sewing machine you can hand sew if you prefer but i use my sewing machine because i'm learning how to sew and i've been sewing some time now okay so after that you are going to sew the part you pinned um straight with a straight stitch actually this machine just makes a straight stitch so just make sure you you sew with a straight stitch this was the point where i had to recut my sleeves into a bigger one okay and i measured the slanted part so i had to redo it all over again and pin the parts where i'm going to sew you know i'm not perfect okay and i do try and error so i'm pinning the uh, that exact space okay and i'm sewing with a straight stitch okay and this was the issue okay my <laughs> my pin got broken and i had to go back to get a new pin but all being said i finished sewing that portion and after that i'm going to fold your sleeve into two which i'll be demonstrating soon if you are not seeing this part clearly because i'm working out fast here okay so i'm going to show you how to um, fold the fabric do the casing for the elastic if you are you can't see right now because when i was editing i realized that it's not really visible so i'm going to show you that with the next sleeve okay so this is how the casing is make sure you leave a space um for where you are going to insert the elastic which is normally half an inch or one inch so i just sewed that portion where i folded into two which is a one inch fold um, I just sewed that place um, with a straight stitch and I left a space where I'm going to insert my inch and I I measured 6 inch for my armhole so I cut elastic with 6 inch and I used a safety pin to um, help me insert my elastic into the fabric and after that I closed off the elastic by sewing right on top of the elastic and yeah i'm just going to insert back the elastic and sew to close up the 
sleeve and yeah where i've placed the elastic so just put your sleeve right under the sewing machine and then position it and sew a straight stitch to close it so yes this is how it is i'm going to i'm done with my first sleeve let me show you how i do the sleeve because i think you guys might not see what i was doing okay so i just measured that portion you just saw that is to show that the armhole fits perfectly with the crochet straps okay and i just finished sewing my straight stitch and after doing this i'm going to do the casing as i told you this is how to do the casing you fold it twice you fold an inch inside and another inch and fold it twice and i recommend that you get a, an iron to help you uh, make it straight and easy to pin so after that i'm just going to pin with your office pin to make sure that it's a straight and then you with the help of a safety pin you just pin the other side of the elastic on the fabric and with the help of the safety pin you just insert in the casing you just sew, sew with your straight stitch and make sure that you are pulling it to the size where where you left um for the straps okay for the iron so when you are done you just basically pin to the armhole making sure you are turning it upside down and the hidden seam stays hidden as where well it's supposed to be so i'm just pinning it and luckily for me it's the same measurement okay so just make sure you pin you can just um, do some small pleating at the top part of the sleeves and it comes out perfect so this is the final project after sewing in where it's supposed to be sewn and i just love this project you should try this out okay you should try this out and if you have any challenges um as usual let me know in the comment section and i'm going to address all your issues on how to come out with the perfect design for this cute piece it also gets interesting you can style your top from this to this meaning you can style your top in so many amazing ways and it's up to you to decide thank you so much for watching please follow me on my socials and let's stay connected i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'll see you in the next bye